My name is Matt Chan. I'm a 10-year firefighter from 2007 until today presently with a five-year break in there where I pursued the CrossFit Games. I was at six CrossFit Games. I finished top 10 four times and I took second place in 2012. I won the Titan Games last year with The Rock. More recently, I've been into endurance sports, which is not my cup of tea because of my size and the way I've trained for the last 15, 20 years. I've done the Leadville 100, which is a 100 mile mountain bike race all above 10,000 feet in Colorado. I've done the Grand Traverse, which is a ski route from Crested Butte to Aspen. Most recently, I did the Haute Route in Chamonix, France to Zermatt, Switzerland in six days, 65 miles, 16,000 feet of elevation gain. Hydration became a big issue, just drinking water over and over and over again. And I still had thirst even though I was urinating clear. It wasn't until 2011 that I started drinking electrolytes with my water regularly that I began to feel better, perform better, be less thirsty, and maintain my body weight better. I knew right then and there when I started using electrolytes that it was a performance enhancer. And it also kept me cooler while I was training. It wasn't up until recently that I discovered Element. It's a huge difference going from other brands to Element because the quantity of each electrolyte and how it matches up with what you sweat out, it's so much easier to take those electrolytes in high quantities and it's delicious. When I started to see the benefits of that quantity of sodium, magnesium, potassium, so on, we started introducing it to the fire service. And one of the biggest issues that we have is injury, of course, but also rhabdomyolysis, which is a medical issue that arises when the muscle tissues begin to break down at a rate where hemoglobin is collecting in the kidneys and can actually clog up your kidneys and cause renal failure. So it's very serious, you can die from it. Even in minor cases, people get hospitalized for two to five to seven days and they fall behind in the academy and they, they don't make it through. And what we found was that these rhabdo cases that kept popping up over and over again in the academy, the common thread was dehydration. It was pretty clear that with that dehydration and the demands on the firefighter's muscles, that muscle tissue was breaking down quickly and that's what was causing the rhabdo. The firefighters were going down in weight, 10 to 12 pounds. We had four cases of rhabdo in 2020. They resulted in hospitalization. So 2021 rolls around and I presented a plan to address rhabdo in the academy, which included a formula to address how much water to drink based on activity level and how much of that water should have electrolytes in it. We decided to utilize Element by addressing the amount of water they're drinking and giving them Element. We reduced the cases of rhabdo to zero.